Well, that took an unusually long amount of time. Hello there, everybody. Saban Night 2 AK Nightmare, and welcome back to AI, the Somnium Files. Last episode, we went into the ultra meta world of Oda's Somnium, and, uh... Well, you can definitely tell he's a bit of an otaku, but now we kind of have a possible lead here. The culprit, if what Oda remembers is partially true, might have an injury on their left leg. So that might actually help us out in the long run. And after having a kind of heart-to-heart -heart with Mizuki, I guess I could consider it a heart-to-heart. -heart. She's now going to be joining, uh... Okay. Okay. Sure, let's do it. We got a lot of places to go. Let's go. Bloom Park, Tuesday. A hell of a list we got to go around with. I remember telling you before that Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Mm hmm. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. Yeah. That photo, they too. They fought a lot. But sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. That smile needs to be... I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me. So I wouldn't fall. Oh. <laughs> it, it's kind of refreshing seeing her at least smile a little bit. Merry go round horse. No pole. Parasol. The holographic caution tape. The sky is dark and depressing. Yep! It's control room. This is where the staff would run the merry-go-round. Merry-go-round horse skewered upside down. Looks pathetic. There's, there's a fence around the merry-go-round. Where was that opening? Far down. Ah. Last Friday, I found Mizuki inside the central column. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of did. Just kind of. Just, just, just slightly, just a little bit. Oh, roof of the merry-go-round. There's a hole in it now from all the years of weathering. Have you come here b before with friends? Where was Renji when you were on the horse? Do you go on any other rides? Have you come here before with friends? Other than last Friday, nope, I haven't. This place has been off-limits for almost a decade. Even if it wasn't, I don't think I would want to come back here. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, definitely not. Nobody needs to go back to a place that reminds them of something that's, well, a painful and tragic thing that's left a scar on their mind. Nobody wants to ever go back to that, because it just puts them back into the dark place. Why is that? How can I explain it? I... I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. And there's also that too. You don't want to tarnish something that was once very happy and close to your heart. I didn't want to ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced by the worst memory possible. Yusuke is riding the merry-go-round horse. Where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside, taking pictures of me and Mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. <laughs> we sound like a happy family, huh? <laughs> he must have gotten good pictures. Oh, I bet. No, actually. 
What? We tried developing them at the park, but they came out all blurry and out of focus. <laughs> but Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little. Well, yeah, this was over a decade ago. You were a tiny little toddler. But I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. <laughs> I was having so much fun, it felt... wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Say nothing. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then, he asked me something strange. Hey, Date. How do you define family? Huh? Define it? You mean like being blood-related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Ooh. Ow! Ooh. Ow. Well, I guess that's okay. It's okay. Ooh. This is what I think. A family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Oh? Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Simple. No strings attached, just something very simple. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually. I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? Don't you dare. I killed mom and daddy. Okay, no you don't. Don't you dare go blaming yourself for this. What are you saying? I, I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why mom hit me. And why mom and daddy didn't get along. And why they got divorced. Then mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. If I was just a good girl, hey, mom wouldn't have been killed. No, it is not your fault for that. This, all of this, is all my fault. No way in hell. No, I mean. Oh! A bit of a shift here. Hey, haven't you had enough? Wait, we went and drink. Oh, okay. Why me? I'm not married. So take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Abnormal? Huh? Ever since she was a baby, no child should cry at night as much as she did. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. <laughs> they would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Gee. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Yeah. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. Thank you, Date. I'm doing more than anyone. Our child is stupid, brain dead, abnormal. Mama, can you punch her? I'd feel bad if I did it. Could you please do it for me? Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. Uh, 
Oh, oh. Interactive flashback. Okay, punch. Damn it. No, uh, no. That, that's just a very reactive thing to say to somebody that's... Saying extremely mean things about her goddamn daughter. But... Let's take a look at it. There's all, it's, a, it's a bit of a toxic family relationship because she can't seem to get along with Renju. Renju can't seem to get along with her. And... I'm not saying Mizuki is abnormal. I'm saying that she's a... She's a... She's a special case. And... Shoko seemingly, I don't know, it seems like, well, first off, she shouldn't be drowning her sorrows in alcohol, I'll tell you that. Whiskey in a glass. Bar counter. There are bottles lined up on the counter. Didn't expect that I'd get to interact with it. There's a poster on the wall. Hey, a picture of St. Sebastian. Specials are written on the chalkboard. It's a menu. There's another on the back. Hi. Uh, Save one for my eyes. Huh. Bottles of alcohol on the shelf. Do I have anything to drink? No, I don't, because who needs a drink? Beer tap. You should scold her. I'll take a drink. Mama's polishing the bonito as usual. Shoko is drunk. Yeah, that's probably another reason why she's already just kind of... S combination of stress and how loose you get whenever you get drunk. You tend to start saying things that maybe you don't necessarily mean. So, again, I think my reaction was relatively uncalled for. What do you think? I think she's loaded. No shit. Let her get this off her chest. You should scold her. Hey, Shoko. No, no. No, no, no. Bad girl. Don't make me stick your nose in it. There. I scolded her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like you, Mama. I'll take a drink. You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. Ugh, fair enough. I'll be your designated bodyguard. Lord knows she might go on a tantrum. Not saying she isn't, but you know what I mean. Where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home. Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Okay! Character that if I say their name will be a spoiler for something else. Listen to the rest of the story. You wanna call it a night? Yeah, screw it. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. Oh. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. But one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. There is always an alternative to hitting your child. Mmm. I really hope it was just a single slap. I would prefer that it would be no slap whatsoever. God damn it. I'm a reasonable thinker, so I'm going to play devil's advocate. She literally just said that she threw away her career to raise this little girl. Combine that with possible stress, difficulty raising the child, you reach a boiling point, but you are an- Shoko, you are an adult. You need to understand that that is never a good thing to do. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. Here comes the butt. But I have a good reason. <laughs> Let's hear it. She doesn't listen to me, so what else am I supposed to do? You get down to her level, and you try. Slapping her is not going to help. The thing is, Shoko, I already know you're dead. But I have to get this off my chest. What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. Thank you, Date! 
So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. What? And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Why are you crying? If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. <laughs> Stupid Mizuki. Oh my god! Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Answer the goddamn question! Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. Yeah. Just listening to her drunken tirade is pissing me off. Hey, it buddy. It was my misunderstanding. Hey, Renju. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love them. But she has a hard time of it. I get a chance to talk Shoko to you. was never hugged by her mother. Oh? Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. Hmm. The way that she's acting is also a result of her upbringing, then. Hmm. Okay. While I'm still kind of pissed off at her, with this supplemental information about her, I can kind of come to a slight understanding of why she does it. She was never really raised in the way to be taught to be patient with children. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. Let's see. Alright, I feel like there's probably no need to examine everything, or at least not read anything, unless there's something actually new, which... Nah, of course there's nothing new on this. They're always usually the same things. But, I am glad that I finally get to talk to Renju. Whiskey and glass. They both drink the same thing, apparently. That or whiskey is a very popular drink for people. I don't know! Any of my viewers that drink? Is it a popular drink for whiskey? Be just standard? Is that a standard thing? I don't know. Mama's still polishing the Bonito. Of course she is. Hey, did you lose weight? I'm not going to let you set up a joke. Damn! Listen to Ren's story. Okay. What do you think? Why are you asking me about raising a child, hmm? I don't know. There's nothing wrong with getting an outside opinion. Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. Oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. There. I said it. Easy. What time do you close tonight? When you two are done talking, that's when I'll close up. Oh. Um, are, are we keeping you? I'm sorry. Sorry about this. Sorry, Mama. Alright, buddy. I'll get a chance to talk to you. Renju is tilting his glass. I do feel bad about Shoko. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? That's a valuable option. I did recommend that. She didn't like it, did she? She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Ugh. Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Jesus. Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. Though, in that regard, it would have to be a temporary thing. Shoko clearly needs help. Because it seems like she wasn't properly equipped with the tools to be 
an understanding parent, especially for a kid like Mizuki. She clearly has some issues from her past that need addressing. Maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko were separated. No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. Oh, that's true. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe... Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. And... Seems like the fact that she's not getting it, she's just craving it even more. Which result... which... Okay. The fact that she's not receiving any kind of affection or stuff like that could be a cause for not only her behavior, but also the... Not saying it's Mizuki's fault. No, of course not. But... I don't know, I'm having a hard time trying to word, or properly word this. It's like, the fact that she's not receiving any affection means that she's craving it more, causing her to act out a little bit more, and this is causing Shoko to lash out, which kind of creates like this endless cycle loop of craving attention and then never receiving it. Although they receive the bad kind of attention. Couldn't you step in and take over the parenting? I have a company now. Lemniscate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking about. True. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. Date is the third parent. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. No shit! Speaking the truth there, Dante. God. I knew about the whole thing. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. You tried to give her some of the stuff that she was lacking because of the two, of the, her parents. <laughs> Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. feel bad. You may shrug. Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Place from the flashback. Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Atheist? Wow, how edgy teen of you. Hey! hey don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. <laughs> That's not even remotely similar. So why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Yeah. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. Not really. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. Maybe. Just a tiny bit. 
Lantern! Why do these dog statues always have one with its mouth open and one with its mouth closed? Good question. Good question. <laughs> God damn it, Dante! Maybe the one with his mouth open is going, ah, uh, and the one with his mouth closed is going, um. <laughs> and she's sleeping. Are you fake sleeping? Clearly. The ah and mm, guardian dogs. It would have been hilarious if they actually rechanged this gray text to that. That would be nuts. Shinto Shrine. Looks rather solemn. Rope hanging from the bell. Mr. Bell? Saved by the bell? Mrs. Bell. I see you two are getting along well. <laughs> Aw, that was... Aw, that was cute. A rope hanging from the bell. Aw, that was so cute. The offering box. Hey, Mizuki. Do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? No. Bad Dante. Hey, Dante, are you really a cop? <laughs> the offering box. Do not stick your hand in there. Three. Three. That was very important that I needed to scan that. I remember telling Mizuki that a Chizuya was for washing your belly button. Does she still believe that? A Chozuya. Wash your hands and face here. Yeah, kind of had a feeling that was it. Alrighty. Wait. Stone monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. What does it say? Wait, you asked me this in the flashback. Uh. When riding on a train, people on opposite sides of the car doors shouldn't stare at each other. I'm gonna do it. That's what it says. That is definitely a lie. <laughs> Stone monument. There's something engraved here, but I can't read it. God damn it, I'll try. The arch. There's not the golden archways. Maybe flowers are blooming. Music is standing there. About your training. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. Are we going back to that I have flashback? Nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me. Watch it just splinters into a billion pieces as soon as she punches it. I have a feeling it might. Begin! Whoa! Oh. This is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for it! Uh, wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was glorious! Oh! Good god, girl, you're strong! Okay, um. About those bullies you murdered. By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No, you haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. Oh, yeah? They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. Uh, oh. So I... Did you kick their asses? I broke all their front teeth. Yeah! <laughs> Good girl. Jeez. You're getting ice cream later tonight. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on. It's nice seeing Mizuki kind of opening up a little bit more.
What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. Hilarious. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Damn, we're stuck here. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, mine is more likely to. Genius. You're more crooked than a hernia. <laughs> Good comparison. Huh? Anyway, where to next? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I am actually I am I'm really enjoying it. like there these are actually almost very these are these are very innocent. Kind of. Seeing her open up a little bit more to Dante is just is quite heartwarming. Especially in just this part right here. Now I'm going to ruin it by going to the cold storage warehouse. Yeah. Oh boy, let's ruin the happiness, shall we? This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? Yeah. Gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. <gasps> Uh, wait, no, I got this. Uh, um, Araya, Araya, that's gotta be your name, Araya. You need to chill. Cool pun, bro. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Indeed. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. <laughs> the inspector is looking over something. Yeah. What's your name again? <laughs> oh, wait. I remember. Please. It was Kagami, right? What did you say? <laughs> did you get my name right? Did you finally get my name right, bro? Oh, sorry, my fault. Must be mistaken. No, no, you're exactly right. Everything's right in the universe, dude! Wow. What's the matter with you? Sorry, I just get so emotional sometimes. <laughs> Date, this guy is kind of weird. I love him. You're right, Masuki. Stay away. Huh? What? There are a lot of weirdos out there. <laughs> if you get a bad feeling, trust your instincts and don't get too close. Yeah, I'll be careful. Hey. <laughs> it's like you guys just wear us, not you. <laughs> we finally got his name right. <laughs> Okay, okay, I need to triple check this. So his full name is Araya Kagami, right? Yes, I remembered half of his name. Thank fucking God. Now, what what was added to my appendix? Buggy? Joko, no child should dislike buggy rides that much. A buggy is a small baby carriage. Strictly speaking, a buggy is slightly different than a baby stroller, but many people use the terms interchangeably. In computing terms, it can also refer to code with errors or glitches. Mizuki and game developers alike hate buggies. Yes. Cower, as in cowering in fear? To be afraid, avoiding confrontation. I cower in front of my producers. <laughs> okay. All right. So, any leads? No, not so far. We see each other a lot. Do you like your line of work? Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. Yeah, I bet. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You're a great guy. He is! You should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? 
you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym and not get in trouble. Uh, it, uh, who told you that? What? I'll show them trouble. Ew. Why would you do that? We see each other a lot. Yeah, you're right. Maybe in a previous life we... Taro. Huh? You must be Taro, right? No, I'm not Taro. We got his name all... We got his name, damn it! <sighs> you must be exhausted. This might sound weird coming from me, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Thank you for caring. It means a lot. Give this man a hug. <laughs> so what was your name again? Huh? I'm sorry. I just totally forgot. Date, you're a dick. Date, sir. Hmm? What is it? This is how it's supposed to be. A man like you doesn't have to remember the names of people like me. But we're co-workers. We both work for the MPD. Isn't it rude to not remember your name? No, no, not at all. It has to be this way. But you're important, Araya. All right, if you say so. Vector is looking over something. Oh, please, I want to learn more. Oats was down around here, right? Correct. Yep. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. I think part of the blood might be from the polar bear, too. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. So part of the blood must have mixed. But then that's going to cause some problems whenever you get the blood, like, tested at a hospital or something. Date, I've analyzed the blood. Oh, thank God. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Knew it! Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other. Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear back. Good job, Baraya. Why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? Yeah, he wouldn't have any idea about, like, the blood being somebody else's. I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. <gasps> Wait a minute. What if there's some blood on the hook? You did it, Date. We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. Wait, but... Wait. But it might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I gotta talk to Mizuki first. Mizuki's hunching her shoulders from the cold. No! <laughs> Shit! Shit, flowchart! Holy shit, I went crazy over here. A reopen investigation. Uh, um, okay, we went through the marble. No, cold storage. Go back. Go back. Gotta talk to Mizuki. Fast forwarding the shit out of this because I have to talk to Mizuki. Yes! Um, are you cold? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. Yeah, you don't want the old man smell, do you? That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. Hey! Who said I'd give it to you anyway? Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. He is. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. You want her to stay immature? Hmm. Or are you afraid that if she matures, she's going to be infinitely smarter and more resourceful than you? That's a reasonable fear, considering how fucking strong she is. So, um, been here before? Huh? 
What do you mean? I... I literally mean, have you been here before? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but... Also, it doesn't hurt to ask. I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Huh. Yes, stop being annoying. Sorry. I mean to be annoying, I'm sorry. Please, you're just starting to have some happy moments. Don't ruin it. Why would I lie about that? Saying you are, I'm, I'm really sorry. Anything on your mind? The polar bear. Where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. Yeah. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then, when the hook got pulled out, blood sprayed all over. That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means... Blood! But one more thing. Hook is hanging from the ceiling crane. Hook that pierced the polar bear's left leg. Oh, really? Nothing else added to that? An ice cutting machine. This was here before the crime. Hmm. Oh, God. Lizard lady's gonna be there, isn't she? Ugh, I don't want to deal with her. She weirds me out. Just a little bit. Oh god. No. Oh. That's the reception desk. Yes it is. Company's logo. Lemniscate. Check out Renju's office. Any memories of Renju here? Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual. The usual? Like what? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Oh. Huh. So that's the usual. Huh. About the person with the injured leg. Mizuki, could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. No, wait, come, no. Oh. Mizuki ran into the office. After a while, she returned dejected. Looks like it didn't go well. No. It's okay, you try. It's okay, Mizuki. Promotional videos of the agency's talents are playing. Oh, it's Payasi Samba. Huh? Oh, yes. Payasi Samba. The hell's that? I don't know who that is. Neither do I. Payasi Samba's video is playing. Anything new about the painting? There's an abstract painting hung up. Someone about that earlier. It's like lionfish and shag carpet or something. Huh? There's an abstract, incomprehensible painting hung up. Are we ever gonna figure out the answer to this freaking thing? <sighs> Plant. Date, look at that. It's a Hercules beetle. Gimme. Yay, Hercules beetle. No, uh, Iba getting excited by it by insects again. Wait. Is it okay for her to be here? Plant. I don't know, I'm more, I'm, I'm, more, I'm more curious why there's a Hercules beetle here. Is it safe for that one to be here or not? I'm kind of curious. Window! Can I, can I speed up my... Hmm. Lots of magazines in that rack. Special. Underground horse racing bets to win big. Oh my. I'll take that one home with me next time. Lots of magazines in that rack. A vending machine full of drinks. A door. Probably an office back there. Hi, table! Hi, stool. By the way, a stool's a chair that has no or a very small backrest. They're uncomfortable. There are high stools all around the table. Sofa. What's that sofa stuffed with? Good question. Sofa stuffing. How dare you? Sofa. How dare you? The monitor. Nothing's on it. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Got 
god. Dante! It's my favorite receptionist. Because of course it is. You know what? I'm going to be safe. I'm going to save real quick. Check out Renju's office. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Izuki and I investigated Renju's office. Thought I didn't find anything that could be a clue. Oh. Damn. No hits. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. Hmm? Izuki's standing next to me. Okay. Have you seen anyone with an injured left leg? Uh, no, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. Okay. Googling horsehair crab. Because I am hearing things like a Kuyoni and. Oh. Oh, that's a horsehair crab. Those are some nasty legs! What? Sounds horrifying. It is! Don't ever look that up! By the way, what's your cup size? Oh, two. Huh? Well, of course it would be two cups. Freaking smart ass! Three cups would be a nightmare. You think? Date, why are you asking that? I really shouldn't be asking that in front of a small child. Nor should I be saying this. Oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. But okay. What? Seriously? Really? Don't get his hopes up! Yeah? Huh? I sprinted to the desk. Then she sealed her mouth shut tight and puffed out her cheeks. I poked them with the tip of my finger. They were surprisingly soft. Date, what are you doing? Am I really poking her cheeks or... Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? Uh, no. Oh! Mizuki punched me in the gut and dragged me back to where I was. I... deserve that. Let's go to Atomi... Don't you dare bring my last name into this! Huh? What? What are you doing? Let's go to Otomi and get her! I'm putting the investigation on hold. That ain't no! I'm going to Atomi with her. Stop it! I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. Do not bring her to me! Side effects of the medication. This is acute brain failure. Stop! Please! Wait, are you serious? I don't even know what that is! Do I look like I'm joking? Date, you're being annoying again. Mizuki, please punch me in the gut at least three times. Do you know how angry I can get, Date? Aiba, please shock me in the head multiple times. I'm. Stop it! Let's go to Atami. Uh, okay. I took her hand and led her out of Lemnus Gate. I left Aiba behind. What? What? Wait, what? What's going on? Uh. Thus concludes. Thus concludes the case of the new Cyclops serial killer. Goodbye, police officer live. Hello, Atami Shizuoka. I decided to begin life anew as a carnival worker in the Hot Springs town. The end. Achievement unlocked Date's Atame Date route. End. Or date. At Date's Atami date end. What? What? Uh... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you can't be serious.
Me and my girlfriend's Atami route. And what? Did I seriously just... Tutorial. There are still mysteries left unsolved. The real culprit, the incident... Was that... That was a fucking ending? In incident six years ago in Date's past. The story's branching points are insomnia. Use the flowchart to jump to a branching point of Somnium and maybe hidden somewhere in the dream world. Find the new way for... Okay then. Um. Uh. Uh. I wasn't ready for that. I was not ready for that, just saying. I'm going to return here. We're going to do the usual. We're going to leave. Go to the sunfish pocket. I got a goddamn it. You. How did. That was an actual ending. What? I, I'm, I'm, I, it, okay. The game did it. I, I am actually at a loss for words. I don't know how to mentally process what the hell just happened there. I am honest to goodness at a loss for words here. A scientific research institute unrelated to NRIPES. Conducts tests, can conduct tests, appraisals, and inspe in in inspections of any material too large or sensitive to be handled by the local police. But I, uh, huh? By the police department. Huh? Branching paths will always appear in Somnium. Discover the other routes by jumping to the Somnium on the story. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Get me out of here right now. Go to the sunfish pocket. Let's just leave. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Visited Sunfish Pocket with Mizuki, where Renju was killed. Once again, I looked for any clues we might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. I'm sorry. Here. Doesn't look like there are any clues here. Rusty drum. Right. <laughs> That's the light. The walls are decorated with life preservers. Door to the kitchen. You can see the kitchen back there. Nothing suspicious there. The store's signboard says Sunfish Pocket. Light that looks like a jellyfish. Probably not a clue. Picture the maids on display. Which one is your type, Dante? Huh? Where is this coming from? Yeah. Just tell me. Mm, no. Well, let's see. Wow, you're really thinking about it? You literally just asked me! Disgusting. You asked. That's, you just you put me into a lose-lose situation, Mizuki! Pictures of maids on display. If I had to pick one, I'd say the second one from the left on the top row is my type. Second one from the left on the top row. A redhead? That's orange. Of course, if it came down to it, I wouldn't say no to any of them. Freaking pervert. Pictures of maids on display. Freaking keep it in your pants, man. Registering the doorway. 
I know he's perpetually horny, but he needs to calm his tits. Barrel made of wood. Couldn't find anything special about it. Surveil security cameras. Useless. Door. Place is up on the second floor. There's nothing out the window. Store's menu. Ryugu water. 980 yen. 980 yen? That's a bit much for water, don't you think? Yep. For water? Not just water, seawater. Who drinks that? You can't even drink it. Maybe that's why it's so expensive. You gotta pay to kill yourself. Good God, man. I'm sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... I still want to apologize, Izzy. Izzy's staying next. Did you think of anything? Um, not really. Let's get going. Yeah, nothing we can do here. Wooden box. Well, that was short as hell. Hospital! I, I still can't... I still can't believe there was a receptionist ending. <laughs> oh my god, that is so dumb. Mizuki! Oh, Mayumi! And Date. Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine, Mayumi, it's fine. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... Just be safe on your way home. Naomi quickly shuffled out of the room. Thanks, Mizuki. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Fair enough. Yeah. Pretty awkward. Hey! You better not have a goddamn knife under there. Bet. <sighs> when will the day come when Iris is sleeping beside me? My guess is never. Probably bed examine that goddamn pillow better be a good feathery one put me used for monitoring vital signs measures heart rate blood pressure and body temperature on the monitor curtain uses a divider there's a bedside table i know this is sudden but i'm brave and smart and handsome right you currently are still under the effects of the drugs i will chide you on your labels have at it. A bedside table. Yes. Bedside table. With the chiding of the labels. The window. Brown chair. About Oda. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Don't stroke his ego. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. It is a good thing Iris was saved. But he's still irritating. I agree with you, Iba. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. Um, hmm. I'd say keep the cosplay to conventions and all that. Conventions in this day and age. Let's not go in that direction. About Iris. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Well, I mean, she had a fucking eyeball ripped out of her. That's probably gonna be some serial cranial that's serious cranial trauma. Hey, Ota, next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. Yes. To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. 
We could even make her a life-size crane. I need some big paper. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. Ah, my work! Yuzuki's looking at Oda. Talk to Oda for a little. Um, how are you? Forget me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about Reika. 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 If I knew any Reika. <clears throat> I don't think I knew any Reika. I don't think I know any Reikas, actually. Seriously? Seriously. I don't get it. I don't know any Reikas. Um... What was lying down in bed? Have you remembered anything? No, just what I told you yesterday. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering things again. <laughs> like shock therapy? Oh, good idea. Let's do it. Whoa, old school. <laughs> I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke, <laughs> you can learn a lot from the past. I see. Maybe you should hit him. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. No, no. <laughs> no way. Otis pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He is, isn't he? He's the type that gets annoying around women. Clearly. Oh, about the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? No. If you remember anything at all, please tell me. Well, maybe that all depends. Use me. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush, it might jog my memory. Hmm. I got a counter uh, um, offer here. I have a coffee mug right in my hand right now. How about I smack you upside the head, and maybe that'll jog your memory. Are you really going to do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. I'm sure she's used to it by now. Ew! What are you making her read? Seriously! Lots of things, like... W wait, Mizuki, you don't have to tell him. No, tell me so I can beat him at I can freaking beat his ass! I can tell wring the answer out of you and then I'll wring his neck! <clears throat> anyway, should we get going? Yeah, let's go. Wait! You just got here. It's okay. We saw you. Now we can go. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Yeah. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm. Let's see. Right? Okay, we got two more. Oh, wait. Nope. Abyss headquarters is unlocked. So, let's go to Marble. See if we can go say hi to Mama. The classiest lady in the game. So that's the situation. I see. How you doing? Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Hmm. Depending on St. Sebastian. Oh, thank God. We don't need you seeing that. What's in the backpack? It's not used to mama? Yep. What? Do you have a problem with gay people? Hey. 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 How you... I'm gonna talk to mama. Uh, about Mizuki. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. 
Um, okay. <laughs> oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. <gasps> Date, what are you making me say? I didn't say anything. You're the one that said it. You said that on your own. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? <laughs> Who is the lady Mama is referring to? Don't ask me. Wait a minute, wait, am I getting this wrong? Uh, I, I, I feel bad because I don't want to screw this up. What is Mama identifying as? Gender neutral. Well, it refers to she. I, I don't want to offend Mama. So. Book says she, but it also says that, she, that Mama is gender neutral. Know anything about the new Cyclops killings? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. Excuse me? What does that mean? I... Uh, uh, uh... I have no idea. I... Pull and... Mama? A cannibal? Sorry, no idea. Damn. I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. Fair. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Thanks, Mama. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, why not? <laughs> because you... Take up all the hot water. That's your issue. I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Huh. I'm learning quite a bit about Mama today. Uh... What's in the backpack? Hey, Mizuki, what's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well, water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, a Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches. <gasps> okay, you might be a little overprepared. Triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, disposable hand warmers. Wait, 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 rewind. Did you say a fucking grenade? Do you have an entire disaster relief kit in your bag? Dante, why aren't you bringing up the fact that she has a grenade? Better safe than sorry. I'm ready for anything. Wait, we just. Perhaps I misheard. But wasn't there an illegal item in there? That's what I'm thinking! Right, the Swiss Army knife. Now look the other way. Dante, you idiot! Ah! Why is she, why, how did you get your hands on a grenade? It was Peter, wasn't it? You have a problem with, you have a problem with gay people? No, not at all. Good. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. Hmm. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. Yeah. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring. Yeah. And they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. Damn right. So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. I like that. And that means you too, Mama. Uh. Oh, I love it. Bravo. Six million yen to you. Hey, where's my six million yen? You can transfer it to my account. <laughs> no, screw it. We're opening Mizuki an account herself. Right, okay, okay, okay. Damn, I didn't expect that. That's actually really nice. Good on you, game. Good on you. I like that. I'm not used to mama? No, I am. 
Oh, you are? You sure? You still look a little scared. A little. Ha <laughs> 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 scaredy cat. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was funny. <laughs> I'm going to expose your browser history. Don't you dare! What? Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Huh? Three minutes with a married woman. Huh? Stop, stop. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Dante! Mama, get the beaten stick. We're smacking him. Izzy seems to be a bit nervous, just like last time. Well, I mean, if she gets used to Mama, that should be fine. Seriously, go get the beating stick. We gotta, we gotta beat the rubbish mentality out of freaking Dante. Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. Don't say things like that, especially in front of Mizuki. In bed? What does that mean? <laughs> You don't need to know. No, you're too young for that. Let's go. Give that. No, no, no. No, no, no. That, that's. Okay, no. Mama's polishing the bonito as she does. That, 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 that is. That, that, no. That, 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 that is, uh. 20 years too early for you. Appendix. Oh, cool. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender. I love them all. God damn right! Hmm? This army knife. Under current Japanese law, you cannot carry such a knife in public. If the blade is six centimeters or more, it violates the firearms and swords law. If it is less than six centimeters, it is a misdemeanor. Wait, seriously? The Swiss army knife is actually an illegal item? Well, I guess I can't go to... I guess I can't go over there, because I got one. Huh. I didn't know that! Huh. Huh. Okay, um... Alright, I think that's actually a pretty darn good place for us to go and end it for today's video, but... It was interesting! Um, well, first off, I... Huh. Okay, um, first off, didn't expect to see that weird, that random as fuck ending. I, I thought it was just gonna be a gag, like, oh, and then he woke up, cause I would figure Mizuki had knocked him out. No, it was a, it was an actual ending. <laughs> Date, what the actual fuck? <laughs> Don't do that. Um, and the whole talk on the LGBTQ, I had a stroke saying that, but the community, that was, that was actually really nice. I like that. I like what this game's doing. That was just really nice. That was really nice. Huh. Now I'm just feeling good. I just feel really good. Thank you, AI the Somnium Files. Claps for you. But other than that, that is where I'm going to end it. So, if you all liked this, be sure to let me know. And it looks like next time we're going to be going back to the Abyss headquarters. And I feel like that's probably going to be the end of the investigation for the time being. So, yeah. If you all like this, be sure to let me know. This is a very interesting little rendezvous just kind of taking Mizuki around and... I don't know, it seemed like they were kind of getting along. And I, I really liked that. It was it was nice. I, I don't know, it seems like Mizuki is starting to open up a little bit, which is great. And we even got to see a little bit about... Sh uh, a little bit of Shoko and Renju in the past via flashback. We got to see that too, which was... enlightening to say the least but anyway if you all like this thank you all so much for watching be sure to let me know i got the words mixed up fuck it i'll see you guys next time